Hey YouTube guys and YouTube gals, it's me Magnum over at Guns and Cars with two Z's if you please. I made a little trip to Walmart yesterday and I kind of got a major score. Um, ended up with this box of 420 rounds of 556. Now let me show you how I did it and you can do the same thing. So stick around. Okay, here's what I did. Went to uh, my search engine and typed in Walmart. Okay, that takes you to the Walmart page. And then I just click on departments here and go to sports and outdoors. And then up here in the search bar, let me blow this up a little bit for you here. Just type in ammunition. All right, and let's just say for example here that we're looking at the federal 9 millimeter in the 100 round value pack. Okay? Now when I click on that, it says out of stock in your local store. And there's an option here to find it in another store. So when I click on that, it brings up 17 stores within 50 miles of my zip code. And if we scroll down through here, we can see that in my area, they are out of stock in that particular ammo. So let's change location. Let's go, for example, to, let's say you live in Atlanta, Georgia, okay? This is just an example. Okay, if we look here, the Walmart store number 3709 in Atlanta, it says that it's in stock. Okay, and if we go down a little further here, the one on uh, College Park also has it in stock. The one in Riverdale has limited stock. Now, the situation yesterday when I looked up the federal ammo can with the 420 rounds in it, it said limited stock. I called because, and this is kind of cool because you've got the phone number right there. It makes it really easy. I called and the girl said that she, she had four of them four of the metal cans, ammo cans. So the store is 14 miles from here. So, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, I pull in, go to the uh, sporting goods and she's got two cans left. So she sold two uh, in the time it took me to get there. I bought one because there was a limit of one and uh, came home and when I checked their site again, it said out of stock. So within the 20 minutes it took me to get from Walmart back home, somebody had bought the other one. So it was out of stock. So this will give you an idea uh, of how to search for this stuff. Let's, let's say you live in Cookville, Tennessee, for example, which is where my, where my parents grew up. Now, chances are that Hickok, uh, 45 has bought everything that Walmart has already, but uh, we're still looking at the 9mm. Well, in the Cookville store on uh, 528 Main Street, uh, they have limited stock on that. So, there are, uh, this is a much easier way to do this. Also, one other thing I wanted to show you, uh, let's go back here. It says that this particular ammo was out of stock in my store, but there's an option of find it in another store, which is what we just did, or email me when it's back in stock. So if you click that, it'll just bring up uh, another box and you just enter your email address in there. And when it comes in, 
they'll send you an email and you can you can load up several different varieties uh, that you might be looking for and get an email alert which might be quicker than going through and trying it uh, by item but you know if you don't have anything else to do give it a shot so to speak so that's Walmart I'm sure there are ways to do this on other uh, other sites as well but uh, I know that Bass Pro Shop doesn't give you the option to find out whether it's in stock or not without calling them so this is a much easier way to do it so anyway that's it for today I uh, I feel very lucky that I got out there when I did and managed to to get some so good luck to you in your search and until I speak with you again and even after that you stay safe <music>